Harry T. Moore, born on November 18, 1905, in Houston, Florida, was the only child of Johnny and Rosa Moore. Him and his wife, Harriet Moore, were both murdered on Christmas Day, 1951, when a bomb underneath their bedroom, set by the Ku Klux Klan, had blew up their home in Mims, Florida. They had both just celebrated their 25th wedding anniversary as well. Harry Moore had died on the way to the hospital, while Harriet Moore had succumbed to her injuries and died nine days later, leaving her two daughters, Evangeline and Annie Rosalie, behind. The Moore's death was the first assassination of a civil rights leader in the modern civil rights movement. They were both civil rights activists, and they fought for the prevention of lynching. In the 1930s, they began organizing for the NAACP in Central Florida. In addition to that, they launched a legal struggle that later won equal pay for black and white teachers. In 1941, Harry had become president and then later executive director of the Florida State NAACP. The NAACP grew to over 10,000 members in more than 60 branches across the state during their leadership. The Moors had also organized the Progressive Voters League of Florida, with Harry as the president. After this, for years, Harry traveled across Florida to build the NAACP and help blacks register. Harry's activism predated the traditional civil rights movement, and he was truly way ahead of his time. Harriet Moore was a sixth grade teacher at George Washington Public School. She had made a significant impact as a teacher, and her beliefs on civil rights and civil rights movement were essential. What I can tell you about the Moore House from what people have told me is that on a Christmas day it had got blown up because of some racial issues and tensions with them because he was with the NAACP and trying to get rights for teachers. And in this explosion, him and his wife died. I know now today there's a house there that you can tour. They redone the whole house. They've made it really nice and they made a replica of what the house looked like on the land. They also have a memorial there and also a museum where you can go in and see the poem that Langston Hughes wrote to them and read to them during their funeral. So it's really nice and anybody should go and check it out and see what they have to offer at the house. I haven't, growing up it was pretty bad, but now it's a little bit quieter. I know that there's still people out there fighting for the rights of people of color and people of different nationalities. But because I have moved, I haven't seen any you know, changes. But I know when I was growing up, I mean, it was pretty bad. You got pulled over for just being black. So it's still some tension there, but I haven't been there in a while. I'll just go there to visit. But I do see a lot of people that are in the NAACP and a lot of the older generations and new generations that are there trying to fight for rights and awareness in that community and throughout.